and I fell on my hip twice and um, which was careless uh, just um, on ice one one time and another time on co cobbles and it started to pain and I put up with it for a long time and then eventually the pain got so such so bad that I thought I had to have something done about it so I went to several um, consultants and um, I couldn't identify with any of them really and I, I found Mr Kim on on the website and I came to see him and immediately knew I could trust him you know to because it's quite a big operation really to go under and um, so he talked to me and he went very thoroughly through everything and told me my, what any options I had and I felt very comfortable with him and so I decided to go ahead with it. She had her hip done three years ago I think it was and I would used to come with her and she used to say to Mr Kim Will needs his doing and the skin used to say, well, he's in denial, isn't he? Because I was still playing football. Uh, and eventually the, the hip got to such a state where the pain was there all the time, so. My husband um, was was playing, he was very active and, uh, and he started having all this pain there again it, it it stopped him doing what he wanted to do he was still playing five-a-side football in, in spite of the pain and uh, I spoke to Mr Kim about it and he did say well he's probably in denial now which all of us are really when we come to those things so um, eventually he agreed to come and see Mr Kim and it went on from there. I was playing football the Friday before I had the operation on the Wednesday and at the operation, came out, no pain, nothing. The best thing ever did. And Mr Kim was so brilliant. And of course the fact that I'd seen Sylvia's recovery, uh, that gave me the confidence to have it done myself. I can sleep because I'm not in pain anymore. I can um, walk perfectly well. I, I can do everything I did before. Um, and I'm not in, in that awful pain. Uh, but that, that's what it's made the difference to me because I don't like anything that will slow me down and that was slowing me down. I can walk without any pain. And once the pain's gone, that, that's all you need. You know, I, I started running again and uh, getting back to fitness. He's very approachable. I, uh, I went to one top surgeon and I was asking about the sort of implants I could have and he said, I will decide what implant you c you'll have. And I thought, no, you won't. <laughs> so I walked away and when I came to Mr Kim, we went through everything, all the implants and everything and, and I knew quite a lot about it because I've got a son-in-law who actually works for Johnson & Johnson who, and he's on that side of things where he's going into hospitals and, with, and so he, he'd have briefed me but Mr Kim went that much further and he told me that I would be having the gold standard and, and he's such a nice person and nothing is too much trouble for to him. Uh, you can ring him, he gives you his number, you can ring him if you've got any problems. I just felt very confident about him and I liked him, his manner, and he's such a nice man, he really is, yeah. Well, he's got a wonderful manner with him and nothing's too much trouble for him. And he's so attentive, his staff are the same. So it's just a confidence in the man which, of course, I'd already had from my wife's visits to him and the operations. We can't recommend Mr Kim highly enough, either of us. He's made such a difference to our lives, he really has. Basically, we both had the operations with him and we're both fine. Yeah. And that's, that's it in a nutshell, really.